Guess what everyone? We can go fishing again. Isn't that fantastic? The Victorian government has just announced that they have lifted the fishing ban. Righty, oh, folks, literally five minutes ago, Daniel Andrews was on the TV explaining the changes to the current uh, COVID-19 restrictions. And I'm not going to talk about all of them because that's sort of, I could get it wrong and it's not my thing. But I did want to give you the takeout for me, which is all about fishing. As of 11.59pm tomorrow night, which is the 12th of May, we are allowed to partake in outdoor sports, whether it, in the words of Daniel Andrews, whether it be fishing or hiking. So as, as, as I know it at the moment, fishing is allowed as of 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night, but no more than 10 people in a group, which is probably 99.999% of fishermen. Outdoor activities can resume. Hiking, he specifically mentioned fishing and hiking, and there is a limit to 10 people in each group. So if you go on hiking in a group, you can only walk with nine friends. So that's, that's huge, this is enormous. I waited, I watched, I was sitting there watching the TV and waiting for the announcement. They kept saying, we're gonna go live, we're gonna go live, and I kid you not, I had butterflies in my stomach. My stomach was just churning, it was, I was nervous almost. And now I'm super excited. Now, I've only just taken what I'm sharing with you now, I've taken it straight from the live press con conference with Daniel Andrews. And the, that was that as of 11.59 p.m. or midnight tomorrow night, here in Victoria, groups of up to 10 people can, can enjoy outdoor activities and he specifically mentioned fishing and hiking. He didn't mention golf and, or, and he didn't mention shooting or hunting or metal detecting or anything like that. Now I can, uh, I think we could safely assume that it includes those things as well, but I, I strongly advise everybody to read the rules, to read everything, look at the COVID-19 website, I think it's coronavirus.gov.au, I think, and just look for updates to get it right. All I know is that we are allowed to go fishing as of tomorrow night. What that means, not only are we allowed to go fishing, but we're allowed to go to the river and use our barbecue on our stoves when we're not at work. We're allowed to go and sit by the river. And hiking, the thing that I'm missing the most in the last few months is just being out the bush. And as of 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night, I'm allowed to do that again. Now, it's only just literally hot off the press being announced now. I think it's very time to be very excited. They didn't mention, and I was expecting it, they didn't mention any distances. I was expecting them to say, you can, you can go fishing, but don't travel any more than 50 kilometers from home or 30 kilometers from home. He didn't specifically mention that in the press conference. So that's something that I'll be looking at before I go. And it's something that I strongly uh, advise everybody else to look at before they go, because you don't want to go out and get fined because you haven't read the fine print. But for now, fishing will be allowed in Victoria as of 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night. And make sure you read the fine print before you go. Look for, look for um, news releases just to make sure that you stay within the recommended rules that the, the rules that they've created now. Folks, it's a great time to celebrate. And before I go, one thing I do want to say, even though I didn't particularly agree with the ban on fishing or golf or hunting or metal detecting or any hiking, I didn't really agree with them because I think you're on your own anyway. It never made sense to me that you could go to supermarkets that are packed with people and not go out the bush. But I do want to say on the whole, I think both the Victorian government, all state governments, and the federal government, SCOMO, I think they've done a fantastic job. They have done a cracking job, and I think each and every one of us here in Australia ought to be bloody thankful for the fact that we live in a country with, uh, that has been run so well through this pandemic. I know people will argue with that, but we've had and we've had 90 deaths. I think America's up to 50,000 deaths. I know they're bigger than us, but they're not that much bigger. You know, some countries like Europe, England, Italy, Spain, they, they've just lost so many thousands of people to this virus. We haven't lost 100 yet, we've lost 97. And to each and every one of those 97 people, that is so sad, and I send out my condolences. But on the whole, when you look at the big picture, our government has done a great job reining this in. Now, also, one other thing I want to advise is be careful. Just because the rules are open and we can go fishing, I, I, I still suggest to be careful, and, I, and I'll tell you now, I'm scared. The bug's still out there. I've been watching this very, very closely, and here in Victoria, 
we are growing at a faster rate than everywhere else. New South Wales is now only getting one or two cases a day. We're still getting 10 or a dozen. And they're not all coming from the, uh, the infamous meat factory either. They're a few of them are community transmission. So it's still out there and it's still amongst us. So I'm a little bit scared. So I'm going to be being very careful. I'm not going to be going on big long trips to Melbourne or, or anywhere else to see people. I'm not going to go visiting too many people because I'm going to be being very, very cautious because I think it's still amongst us and this isn't a time for complacency, but it is a time to grab our rods and reels and head for the waterways. The, wa the weather's cold, the water's cold. I suspect the fishing, particularly here in Wangaratta, will be, will be very, very slow. The river's still really high. It's a bit off colour and it's very cold, but... You've got to be in it to win it, and I'm going to be in it, and I don't know whether I'm going to win it. <laughs> Time to celebrate, folks. Break out the champagne. We're allowed to go fishing again. Remember, make sure you read. Do some research and some reading before you go out, because Daniel Andrews only made, mentioned four or five dot points. He didn't go into all the fine details. So just make sure you read up on what you can and can't do, but just know that we can go fishing again.